Yeah. At I've Leading been, Thunderbird. I've been at Leading Thunderbird Lodge for two years next week, actually. Oh, wow. So I'm the evening team lead here. And I actually got hired, fortunately, right after university. Oh, wow. So I finished my first degree, I went back, finished my second degree, and then it was a couple months and I was just tired and stressed. I was like, I need a job. <laughs> so I applied, it was late at night, and I got the call the next day for an interview and interviewed, got the job. So wow. I was really fortunate to get this position and I love it. That is awesome. And you and I just talked about this before I turned the camera on, so I'll just ask you again. For <laughs> Tell them about your degrees. I have a BA in psychology and a BA in sociology. Awesome. And you're just doing a... Oh, and I'm finishing working on my master's in clinical counseling. So awesome. psychology. So yeah. Another couple years and hopefully I'll have that too. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully. And you will. You will. And yeah. you're Brittany with a wonderfully spout name, which I think looks even prettier than the other Brittany. Wow, well, thank you. <laughs> I on the end is very yes. nice. So I guess I should say my name. Yeah. I'm Brittany Desterbeck. Um, I'm 27 and I live in Fort Capel. Uh, now I've been practicing saying that. Capel, Capel. <laughs> <laughs> I can't quite I actually, I, right now I live in Sintaluda. So it's by Carry the Kettle First Nation. Right. And we just bought a house down here. So oh, now for Capel resident. Oh, That's gorgeous. exciting. That's mm. so funny. I was calling it Qapel. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of people do. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> just try and tell people I live in Sintaluda. What? <laughs> Where's, where's that? I live in Hokitika. <laughs> Say that one. Nope. <laughs> Uh, so what does your job entail here? What do you do? So um, it's honestly there is no concise job description for what I have. I'm the evening team lead but I'm a youth counsellor, I'm a staff counsellor, I do scheduling and programming and facilitating and harm reduction programs, anger management programs, um, I'm a mental health facilitator for our staff here. Um, everything it just depends what we need we just finished our accreditation process and I was working lead on that with some of our other very qualified staff members so there is really nothing to narrow down what our job descriptions are here I mean front and foremost we're a family yeah. and to these kids whether we're aunties or cookums mushums for our older staff Men's brothers sisters dance. yeah we're what the kids need us to be but at the end of the day we're not team leads we're not counselors we're family here yeah. and that's something that we're huge on promoting especially for our youth and the families because it is scary to have these kids coming from all across canada west coast east coast up north that they don't have anybody this is yeah. a new place it's a new territory new languages new foods such different cultural shifts for them that we can't come in as counselors or teachers we're just family members and just here to love and support the kids so to try and say what my job description is it's so you just many things did. i mean so you did things. that's the best explanation i've actually ever heard mm -hmm. that is because you've put family at the front of it and yeah. you've put the young people at the front of it mm -hmm. that's a f I mean, yeah, that's... Because, I mean, at the end of the day, we all have jobs because of these kids. Yeah, yeah. We don't come to work for ourselves. We come to work to be here for the kids yeah. and to support them. That's what we do. Yeah.